When I was in middle school, um, my school was mostly Latinos, and when I went to high school, it was the same thing. And I think it was when I went to college and started taking like chemistry and genetics, things like that, I saw less and less um, people of color in my science classes. They either saw me as somebody who was really smart because I was really the only one there, even a person of color, or they thought that I didn't belong there. From the time that I started school till now, I was usually the only black person in most of my classes. The further you get into science, math, the more you're the minority, the less you see of yourself. Um, I remember in high school we read, I think it, the book was The Color Purple, and um, after every single question the teacher would be like, Farian, can you give us the black perspective? Because I was the only black person in the class. And I would be like, I don't know. I grew up in the same homes as you, I go to the same school as everyone else in my school, I have the same type of parents, so I didn't really understand why I was being singled out. I remember asking students like, hey, do you know about, say for example, this part of the experiment and before they could answer they would ask me well what did you get on the test I'm not gonna answer that unless you tell me how well you did and so I, I felt like I was out of place sometimes when we were in groups um, people didn't necessarily want to work with me I don't know if it was because I was Latino but um, I kind of felt like that like why are all these people working together and they don't want me in their group um, so uh, outwardly, I think people can't really see that I'm a person of color, and so that wasn't a huge factor for people in the community that I felt. But within my own family, uh, I, I did experience some, some negative stuff because of that, and uh, some biases from my own family. And that's, I think, hard to deal with too sometimes, because your own family's like, well, you're not as good. And that's difficult. Most people who treated me differently were people of my own ethnicity. It was like, oh, I didn't grow up, I'm Mexican-American, and I didn't really grow up with a lot of Mexican friends. Um, they were off doing their own thing and didn't really want to have anything to do with me. Just, I, I have no idea, but I think I've definitely been treated a lot different because of my nationality. When I got into college, um, I felt like it was a lot easier because there was a lot of other people of color in my classes, but I have gotten certain comments here and that there um, I was talking to one of my colleagues about getting into dental school and she said, oh, it'll be easy for you because you're black and they'll let you in because you're black because there's not very many black applicants. And I said to her, it's not about me being black. I've spent the, spent the last five years of my life dedicating myself to my studies. Um, there's been times that I wanted to go out and I couldn't go out because I had to go to the library. There's been times that I've spent hours in tutoring or that I've looked on the internet to find an answer to a problem that has taken me all night. So if I get into dental school, it definitely is not because I'm black. It's because I've worked very, very hard over um, the past couple of years to do that. I think you just have to pick your battles. <laughs> and I think that, like I said, you have to use um, the things that others may say about you in order to drive you to do better and um, not let others' opinions of you make you think differently about yourself.